It all goes around in circles. When I started, it was short back and sides. My motto is, if you want one hair off, I'll cut one hair off. If you want the lot off, I'll ask you twice. Then I'll go through the middle. Everything is a style and fashion. When you see someone who has it all off, that's a fashion. To me, I call them boneheads. I enjoy cutting hair 24 hours a day. But if I've got in my mind halfway through a haircut that I don't enjoy it, I'll put the tools down and walk out and leave you. And that'll be the end of it then. My name's Mr S. My family has worked as barbers for over 100 years. My father dropped out of it in late 70s. My grandfather, he retired when we moved here. My brother trained at it. He came in a couple of times, then went to America, come back and didn't do it anymore. My son's never come into it. But uh, they all do their own thing and that's it. It's no good forcing people. I did nearly have half a mullet when I was very <laughs> young. And I did, amazing or not, I had half my hair bleached. So I was, um, just the top was bleached and the rest around the sides was still dark. Go for the same one every time, that's that, that picture there. Since the first time I come by myself, I've just been putting out pictures, so I don't even know the sizes, to be fair. So if I came in and went three on the side, five on the top, I hold not even know what that is. I'm a rose tweet for local council. I've been there 20 years. It's got a bad reputation, but don't bother me. Yeah, I just get number for the same all the time, yeah. Well, I still got it. I don't think you're gonna lose it. No? No. Oh, it looks like I'm thinning that on top, doesn't it? No, I didn't have the beetle wear cut. I couldn't grow it long enough. I tried. And no, I didn't buy a, a, a wig either. I thought, why buy what if it was £1.50 or one thirty bob for a wig that was made in bleating Whitechapel? Yeah, I don't think so. Everyone would look, look like John Paul, Paul or Ringo. George has been coming here, say, roughly 15 years since he's lived here. He said once he went somewhere else and he didn't like it. He's a local, lives in the flats. The tower blocks they built in the 60s, in some areas now they're pulling them down. But here, they've gone back to building 10 storeys or taller. Why? People don't like them. Some of them have only been up 30, 40 years. Where an old-fashioned brick-built house has stood for 100 years. The planners have got their ideas. Sometimes you don't know how they get them. And then they don't come back and ask the people that live in the area. They're not bothered about the people. They go in for the people with, oh, we're going to do this and we're going to do that. But when it comes to it, I do sweet Fanny Adams. People that used to live here, I don't know, 20, 30 years ago, aspired to different things in a different life and a different lifestyle. And so they moved to different parts of, um, of sort of like that, not necessarily the home counties, but they're out in London. 30 years ago or so, it used to be a very, it used to be quite a good area to live in, yes, to be honest. Yeah. It wasn't looked at as being sort of like um, a deprived area. Deprived area, yeah. yeah. I think that that was one of the, one of the reasons. Yeah. I think yeah. as well, they, people didn't feel as safe around here, yeah. so they moved out. You're on your own, and I think it's an easy target. It's when you're locking up someone, pulling the last shutter down, you sort of jump, you get a shadow behind you or something like that. But what do you do? I don't know. You hear all these different problems everywhere, isn't it? When I first came here, we, we never had shutters, and uh, we used to have tomatoes and cucumbers in grow bags. Managed to have fresh tomatoes at Christmas when tomatoes were dear a long while ago. But then we had trouble with the windows, we had to have shutters. You could have shootings in Tottenham and stabbings in if you don't hear much. First week I moved here, um, it's, not, it's not a nice part, there was a stabbing right outside like my house. And I was like, damn, <laughs> where have I moved to? But nah, then it's all right now. It's getting better. Someone to come in with a magazine or a K 
cut-in sort of thing. You had curtains which you cut underneath and you let it all hang down. You had the wedge where you cut the back into a V-shape. You had the French crop. You had the college boy. People say, I'm losing my hair. I say, you're not. Just because you've got a high forehead and people wind one another up. Oh, you're losing your hair. You're not going bald, it's your crown. A lot of the people you only know by face. You don't know them by name. You just know them by a face or a head. It makes them feel more life, more fresher. And if they're going out enjoying themselves at a party or a wedding or out of the evening, they just feel back with it again. We did have a chair which we changed a few years ago and I reckon there was 100,000 people who sat in it. From last Christmas onwards, you look what faces are missing. Over the last couple of years, it's sort of drifted down. The lunchtime trade has gone, if you say, 10 years ago, but you, you still had enough to keep me going. If you say 25 years ago, it was a good factory area. It used to be, say, 10,000 people working. So they all had a lunch hour. People used to come out. Now that has all gone, all you've got is a retail park. If there's a 1,000 people, which I doubt is that, they're all part-time workers. So they go there, do their work, go straight home. You see them maybe every six weeks, maybe longer, some are three months. You just get a mental image when some people are due in and then they don't turn up and just disappear. Sometimes they move away, sometimes they pass on. It might change. We might have a big influx and might improve again. If I had the volumes I had then, with today's price, I'd be a half a millionaire. If someone comes along with a lot of money, they can, <laughs> they can have it. <laughs> Uh, just wait and see. It was a good area. It more like is for some people still now. <laughs>